Right, so this particular question came in GSI June 2018 and the question is from surface chemistry, okay, a language adsorption isotherm based question. And the question says the volume of CO adsorbed in charcoal at two different pressures is given. You have been given with two pressure values. Assuming the Langmuir isotherm, the maximum possible volume CO that can be adsorbed is. So Langmuir isotherm equation basically is theta equals to Kp by 1 plus Kp. Right. So, but you have been given with two different volumes also. So, you should have an equation which involves even the volumes. Right. So, this is more simpler uh, rather than taking the completely derived volume equation. Okay. So, V by Vm equals to Kp by 1 plus Kp is the required equation to solve this particular question. Okay. So, what you will do with this, equa with this equation is that uh, V is the total volume and Vm is the absurd absorbed volume or actual adsorbed volume so this is what we have to find the maximum possible volume co that can be adsorbed this is what we have to find out okay and this is the given volume and this is the given pressure so now we will take some values in two different i mean these two values in this particular equation okay so that's what i have done here like i have substituted 25 by vm is equals to k into 40 by 1 plus 40 one volume value and pressure value this first i have substituted second equation again 40 by vm is equals to 80k by 1 plus 80k that i have written here okay so this is first and second equations now we'll simplify it okay i have like i've done every step because uh, everyone should get easy even the non-mathematical student right so one by two is 25 by vm by 40 by vm dividing this two and 40k by 1 plus 40k divided by 80k by 1 plus 80k so if it is formed like a by b by c by d it is nothing but a into d by b into c so 40k a into d this is d right so 40k into 1 plus 80k divided by 80k into 1 plus 40k is equals to this vm vm gets cancelled and 25 by 40 okay now what what will you get it so if you solve this thing you will get k value as 1 by 120 why are we doing all this see we, if we divide only the vm will get cancelled away and once vm gets cancelled and we get k value we can back substitute the k value here to get vm that is the reason we are dividing it like you need to have an idea when to subtract when to add and when to divide okay and another point here what you have to uh, understand is that don't make this k value into decimals and make the calculation complicated always try to put the integers or fractionals for the calculations okay never go for the decimals and then make it complicated so put this k value directly in this equation but if you put directly let's say k is 1 by 120 into 40 and and then 1 plus 40 into 1 by this is also little complicated i feel okay like not that but still it is complicated for simplification we will just reverse this okay why will i invert because this is more simpler other than 40k by 1 plus 40k so i have just inverted this vm by 25 1 plus 40k by 40k so this we can write as 1 by 40k plus 40k by 40k so this gets cancelled and you will get 1 okay so vm by 25 is now i'll substitute my k value here so 1 by 40 into 1 by 120 right and if it is a form a by uh, b by c c will comes in the numerator so 120 goes up so 120 by 40 is again three times right so 1 into 3 is 3 plus 1 4 so vm comes out to be 100 and this is your adsorbed volume right this is the way you have to solve the question I'm very happy to see you all in the whatsapp group active be active solve questions share the material as much as possible read the basics basics are very important and i'll try to give the pdf of the books the most important ones like misler and tar housecraft and uh, maybe other books which i have are very important for entrance purposes uh, spectroscopic books few i have banwell and all pdfs i'll try to share even those so it will be helpful for your preparation for another six months it's very important that you even read books for some time okay just go, don't go through the material which you have reading books is very important 
it's better you go through Huhi. Huhi is very, very important. Huhi, Cotton and Wilkinson and Crabtree. Okay, like you have to be perfect in these books and also Symmetry. Uh, symmetry and Group Theory by Veera Reddy. Like inorganic, especially I, you have to be perfect in these particular books because uh, many questions have appeared from this Huhi and Cotton and Wilkinson in many exams. Okay, they basically follow these books and prepare the papers. And even Crabtree, organometallics is like a very scoring. You have seen the recent paper full of organometallics. Compared to quantum, I feel you can do the organometallics. So I request you to follow the Crabtree, Huhi, Cotton and Wilkinson and Vera Reddy exclusively for inorganic. There are many other books, but yes, these are very, very important books. Right? Thank you.